So you've heard that keeping your teeth clean with braces is not an easy task, but no one ever talks to you about why this is important. Sure, they say you get cavities or gingivitis, but in today's video, we're gonna talk about why it's so important to keep your teeth clean during your braces journey, the impact that can have on your overall health and your final results, and then we're gonna review the best practices on how to make sure that your teeth stay clean throughout your entire braces journey. So let's go. What's up guys, Dr. Greg here, back with another episode of Braces Explained. As you can see, we have the Braces Club sign in. It's awesome, I'm loving it. And if you're not part of the Braces Club yet, go ahead and check it out in this corner or in the description of today's video. It's an online community for all things braces. I also wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Waterpick, a company that I truly stand by and I think they make a great water flossing product, but more about that in just a little bit. Like I said, I know a bunch of you guys have heard this before, but maintaining good and proper oral hygiene with braces is not an easy task. But it's something critical if you wanna get out of braces as quick as possible, get the best result as possible, and make sure your teeth are as healthy as possible when you're finished with this journey. The reason I say all these things is because if you don't have proper oral hygiene, a lot of these things kind of dwindle away, and I'll talk about that throughout today's video. As always, we'll have the timestamps up over here, blocking the sign for a second, so you can jump ahead wherever you want in today's video. But let's go ahead and get started with the first most obvious thing, and that is why is it so hard to maintain good hygiene when you're in braces? And that's because if you think about a tooth, it's a nice smooth structure before anything is on it, right? It's pretty easy to clean a glass window or a glass anything, right? But if you can imagine, once we put a bracket on there, there's a lot more area that we have to clean around because there's a lot more area where plaque can develop around the brace. Now I'm gonna talk about what plaque is in just a second, but if you think about it, there's a lot more areas where on this glass structure, like dust and sticky things can accumulate. On top of that, add a wire, which makes it harder to get floss and all those other things in between the teeth. It's like a recipe for bad oral hygiene. There's a lot more stuff that can be stuck around the braces, around the teeth, and in between the brackets and things like that, right? So trust me, I get it. I know it's hard to maintain good hygiene with braces, and that's why I wanna go over all the tools to help you out. I had braces twice, and I remember how difficult and challenging that process was. So what is this plaque that I'm talking about? Well, plaque is basically, imagine a bunch of bacteria. They digest food, they digest all these sugary things, and they release this stuff called a biofilm. And what a biofilm is, is it's basically a sticky material that attracts more bacteria to it. So the bacteria basically make their home by eating up things, laying down a layer that attracts more bacteria, which eats more things, which lays down another layer. So it accumulates this thick film that develops on the teeth. And if you look in like the morning or if you haven't brushed your teeth for a while, you could basically go there and it's around the gum line most of the time. And what's so bad about it is it accumulates more and more bacteria, right? So as you have more and more bacteria building up on the gum lines around the braces and things like that, well then two things primarily can happen. One is that all this bacteria, what it does when it eats up the sugars in your mouth from the foods you're eating or drinking or things like that, it secretes an acid as a byproduct, okay? And this acid makes it so that your teeth basically lose the minerals in them, and that's called demineralization. The minerals are leaving the tooth. And if demineralization happens for a long enough period of time, it becomes a cavity. So that's like the progress of a cavity, right? You have the bacteria that group up, become a plaque, and you know develop all this bacteria in an area, digest the food in your mouth, release the acid, and it dissolves away your tooth structure. That's a cavity. If it happens around the braces though, what you see a lot of the times is when you remove the braces, you have those white areas that are basically like the shape of braces around your teeth. And I know a lot of people have expressed that concern on here and that's basically demineralization around the braces from improper hygiene. And more often than not, that's a pretty permanent thing. Yes, there are some new technologies that are coming out that you could talk to your general dentist about, but a lot of the times that's like a permanent stain from braces that you shouldn't have if you're maintaining good hygiene, right? But let's imagine this goes a little bit further. Let's say this white demineralization starts becoming a deep cavity. Then you're gonna need things like fillings, if it's bad enough, crowns, root canals, and in severe cases, like extraction and implants, right? And this is all just from neglect of proper oral hygiene. On top of the cavity formation, if you have a lot of plaque developing on the gum line, what can happen is your body wants to basically get this bacteria away from it, right? So what it does is it rushes blood to your gum line to basically put all those cells in there that will fight off the infection, right? And that's why you have gums that get puffy because your body's trying to push away the bacteria that's developing along the gum lines. And what this puffiness and redness is, is it's called gingivitis. And gingivitis means the gums, the gingiva, are inflamed. And you have a lot of bacteria that are there. Your body's trying to fight it off. And at a certain point, if your body can't fight it off enough, what will happen in simple terms is that the bone level will start to run away. It'll start to pull back to protect the body from that bacteria. And that's an irreversible process. That's when gingivitis becomes this process called periodontitis. 
and that's the bone levels are going down and making it so that you have less foundation for your teeth, which is a terrible, terrible thing. And as this plaque stays on your teeth for longer and longer and longer, what it'll do is it'll start sucking up the minerals in your saliva, which are calcium and phosphate, and it'll actually harden. And I'm sure you've seen a bunch of videos on like TikTok or on YouTube and things like that where, it's, where it looks like a thick rock that's basically formed around the teeth. That's hardened plaque, which became this thing called calculus. I wonder if easy plaque would be called simple mathematics. Anyways, let's talk about how this can impact your braces journey. Well, on top of the things that I just talked about, it could do even more things, right? So poor oral hygiene can lead to cavity formation. It can lead to those white cavity stains around the braces. It can lead to gingivitis, in some cases, periodontitis and bone loss, to filling, crowns, all these terrible, terrible things, right? But it can also make it so that you have a poor result with your braces. If you're constantly having this plaque and bacteria build up around the braces, it can loosen the bond between the tooth and the bracket, which leads to more brackets breaking off, leading to us not being able to progress in your treatment properly. So now you're in treatment for longer and you're getting a result that's not as ideal as it could have been. There was actually a study that came out and it said patients with three or more poor oral hygiene on their notes for visits, if they had that three times, their treatment was over two months longer. Now, if you can imagine, if you had it for several visits, your treatment's gonna go longer and longer and longer. So now you're getting a poor result, a longer treatment, and you might have permanent stains on your teeth. If this isn't motivating you to maintain good hygiene, I don't know what will. So now let's talk about some of the tools that you can use to prevent all these terrible things from happening, okay? One is to get a very good oscillating rotating toothbrush. And I've talked about this in like super in depth. I'm gonna link the video out in this corner. What these toothbrushes basically are is that they rotate in a motion where it goes like left, right, left, right, left, right. And it basically jiggles around the tooth, fitting around the contours of your teeth and the braces to help break up this bacteria and plaque. If you think about it, if there was like peanut butter on something and you wanted to clean it off, you're not gonna just wipe over it. You're gonna wanna really scrub it and get all of it broken up so that you can lift it up. Kind of the same thing with plaque and bacteria. This type of technology in an electric toothbrush has been shown to increase the efficiency of removing the plaque, decreasing gingivitis, and all those things that are associated with all the terrible things we talked about today. I'm gonna link out my favorite oscillating rotating toothbrush down in the description of today's video, but there's a whole video where you guys can learn more about it. Another tool that I say is a absolute must is a water pick. Shout out to water pick again for sponsoring today's video. I think it is a fantastic product. I recommend every single patient of mine that gets started on their braces journey to invest in a water pick. If you guys don't know what a water pick is, what it is is that it is an oscillating stream of water and you could pick the pressure on the knob of what you want, whether you want it to be gentle, which I recommend everyone start at, or a little bit more aggressive to basically get a deeper clean. And what this water flosser basically does is that it gets to all those areas that you had a tough time reaching with your toothbrush. And this highly pressurized water can help break up all that plaque and bacteria around the braces in between the teeth. And it does an amazing job at doing that. The two that I personally like are the water pick Aquarius and the handheld water pick. Both of them have their pros and cons, obviously. The Aquarius is on the tabletop. So basically you could fill water in the reservoir and use a, it has a little string to it and you could use that. That's personally my go-to one simply because I like it a lot more. It's a little bit more of a small handle. The other one that is the handheld one, it has a reservoir built into the handle, but both of them do a fantastic job. I let my braces patients pick whichever one they prefer, but I basically tell them that it's one of the musts of their treatment because I've noticed that patients that do use a water pick in their oral hygiene routine have significantly less gingivitis, a lot less plaque around their braces, and they have better overall outcomes because they weren't going and breaking braces and getting all these cavities around the teeth. And the last thing that you could do to maintain proper oral hygiene to make sure that these small little problems don't become huge issues is visit your dentist. Now, this is really important because a lot of people that come to their orthodontist say, well, I've been going to my dentist because I've been coming to my orthodontist. Yes, an orthodontist is a dentist, but when we're treating your case, we're focused more so on making sure that your teeth are in a proper alignment, there's no spacing, crowding, your bite's right, aesthetically it looks good, functionally it looks good. We're not going through and taking the appropriate x-rays to check for cavities. Also, we don't do full dental cleanings in the orthodontic office, in most cases. So make sure that you're seeing your regular dentist at least every three to six months while you're going through your braces journey. He or she will let you know if they wanna see you more often if your hygiene is not the best, or a little less frequently if you're doing completely fine with your oral hygiene. But making sure you see the dentist will make it so that they can detect any early cavities, gingivitis, and help do the treatment necessary to make it so that it's not worsened in the future. The worst thing you could do with your teeth and your dental care is to neglect proper oral hygiene because this is when things start becoming more painful 
and you start having more expensive procedures and it's just more and more time consuming and it takes away basically from your quality of life. So with the tools in today's video, take them, make the most of them. If you don't have these products in your oral hygiene routine, I highly recommend them because I think that you will benefit tremendously from it. Let me know, do you guys have a water pick or an oscillating rotating type of toothbrush? Let me know down in the comments of today's video. And while you're down there, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with more content like this. It really helps me, helps me grow this channel and continue to bring content to you guys like this. Again, thank you to Waterpick for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate your guys' efforts in improving the oral hygiene of our orthodontic patients. That's all I have for you guys in today's episode. So for now, Dr. Greg out. <laughs>